All right, folks, welcome back. This is Bellatro every day, and today I've got another weird one for you. The Anaglyph deck, we've been playing off camera so that we can get the unlocks here, but we haven't played on camera yet. This is going to be our first one. So, you know, let's take a look here. Every time we beat a boss, we get one of these double tags. Double tags are going to give you an additional copy of whenever you take a skip and you get a tag, it'll give you an additional copy of whatever it is. So it's sort of, you get more reward for the one skip. So, you know, we should talk about skips. We should talk about tags in general. And, you know, kind of how we've spoken about this in the past is, you know, Every round that you play will give you money from hands left over. It'll give you money from interest. It'll give you some value sometimes from jokers that you have. If you're playing on the low stakes with the low scoring requirements, you can have two to three value jokers and then get two to three jokers worth of value from each round. Um, you know, like ride the bus and square joker. Those are value gathering, value generating jokers. Um, Cardomancer giving you tarot cards, uh, Golden Joker just giving you money, those types of things. And so the, you know, the threshold for is the skip worth it? Is the tag worth it? Uh, is it worth missing out on all of this stuff? You know, there's a high bar to clear. And in addition to that, you know, every time you reroll the shop, it costs you money, right? It costs you $5 for the first reroll and it costs you more money for additional rerolls. Well, Every time you go into a shop, every time you see a shop, that's a free reroll. That's $5 worth of value. Also, when you go into a shop, it's going to generate new booster packs. And so, you know, sort of rerolling the booster packs also has some value. And so then, you know, this threshold that we have to clear for, you know, is a skip worth it? Is it worth it to skip a shop? Um, the answer is probably not. Most of the time, uh, when you're playing on the low stakes, you should be taking between zero and two skips um, on average. Now, once we get to the higher stakes, you know, let's say we've got, uh, you know, the red stake. Red stake, small blind gives you no reward money. So, you know, the difference there is three bucks. So now the small blinds, they don't, they give you three dollars less. And then also we have, you know, higher anti-scaling on the green stake, even faster on the purple stake. So I need more jokers for scoring. I have less jokers for generating value, which means all of that together. Okay, each round I'm getting less and less value from playing. And so maybe it's more and more worth it to skip, right? Maybe it's worth it to skip for a Mega Arcana pack or something like that, or a Mega Buffoon pack or something like that, because I just get no money from playing or I get less money from playing. However, when you skip on the higher antis, this is very real here. The faster anti-scaling, um, each round the scoring thresholds go up, and if you skip, then it makes all the future scoring thresholds go up faster, right? And so when you skip whatever value that you get let's say you skip for a mega buffoon pack the question is is that skip worth all of the blinds being 50 percent bigger do i get more than 50 percent of my scoring power from taking this one skip and the answer is probably not so on higher stakes you should again be taking you know between zero and two probably not two maybe zero or one skips and that skip will happen early. That skip will happen in anti one. Now, with the anaglyph deck, these double tags are, again, this is gonna be some kind of game changing, right? If you don't do any skips, if you just hold on to these, then they accumulate. And so let's say after three bosses, now you've got three double tags. Now the one skip that you take gives you four tags worth of value. You know, you get three additional copies. And so the longer you hold on to these, the longer you stack them up, the more value you get from one skip. So I think, you know, the mistake that most players make with the Anaglyph deck is, oh, it's exciting to get the double tags. It's exciting to skip more. I think you're still skipping too often um, is what's causing you to lose on the Anaglyph deck. However, if we don't skip at all then i mean what's the point of the anaglyph deck if we don't skip at all 
And so maybe, you know, we go through the first four antes without doing any skips, then we have a huge disadvantage, right? All of these other decks, they give us some benefit. You know, here's Zodiac deck gives us all these vouchers. Checker deck has, you know, this deck built with the different suits. And, you know, Ghost deck has Hex and Nebula deck has Telescope and whatever. And so if you don't take any skips, then now you're playing on hard mode, right? And so you don't necessarily want to wait forever. You ne don't necessarily want to wait too long to use the double tags. So what I suggest with the Anaglyph deck is maybe look for a small blind skip in anti three or small blind skip in anti four. So take a sort of middle early skip and then another middle late skip and sort of spread it out that way rather than being greedy and saving up all your double tags you know six double tags for one skip all right let's give it a try here so you know in the first ante here we don't have any double tags we don't have any you know extra incentive to skip and so this voucher skip that we normally don't take again we're not going to take here, the strategy is the same as usual. We already have four diamonds. Let's look for another diamond to make a high flush. That looks like a pretty high flush. I'm, I'm happy with that. All right, in the shop here, we're looking for some kind of scoring joker that we can, you know, hitch our wagon to. Long term, I think long term, the flash card has a lot of value. Um, it has, you know, when you re-roll, it gets bigger. And so one of these scalers, we can grow it into the late game. But sort of early game, it's going to be hard to level this up. We're not going to be able to afford very many re-rolls. Um, as an eternal, you know, maybe this is the kind of thing that, you know, doesn't survive until our in our final lineup. Let's take a look at... What kind of blinds we have if there was a d6 skip i would take a d6 skip um so remember the d6 tag that's the one that makes the reroll start at zero and so you can go into the next shop and do zero reroll one dollar reroll two dollar reroll then i would take the flash card but without that okay i don't need this uh we could take scary face gives us chips so that's decent if you wanted to go for you know maybe uh a high straight or some high flushes that have some face cards. I think more consistently what I would rather have is plus molt. Not this one, but some other solid plus molt. So I'm gonna go for a buffoon pack. We get two options here. Um, two kind of not great options to be completely honest. So, you know, Supernova, one of these late game scalers, you know, in, the early game not doing a whole lot for us uh we've got an egg here as a value generator i'm into that um, i can sell it right now for two bucks and take a chance on the buffoon pack or i can you know hold on to it even just one round even just one round selling it for five bucks could be worth it so this next round here getting 450 is not easy it's not easy to get two hands but i think it is survivable i think it is doable and so what i would do in this situation is okay let's be patient i don't need to sell the egg and take the chance on better jokers i'll just go next all right uh i see here part of a flush just one more diamond maybe try one more time all right so we did get the diamonds um if i want here maybe i will not play the 10. maybe i'll get three tens all right and two flushes is definitely enough we were kind of lucky that we were able to get it without burning extra hands but i'll accept the luck all right now interesting <laughs> uh, 
That's it. That's the combo, right? That's we've got the swashbuckler, and normally we say the swashbuckler, oh, you know, it doesn't give us very much value. I know it's a common joker, but, you know, now with the egg, you got to do it. Uh, is there anything else that we need? Now we need nothing else. So we'll go next. All right. To hit 600 here, any five card hand will work. So this straight, for example. Wait a second. Oh. It's a... Uh, any 300 point hand, any 300 point hand, if we add the plus five molt to it, so any of these, if we had 300 points and then plus five molt, then it would be 600 points. Um, that low straight was not the kind of thing that gives me 300 points. It got a little bit too excited. Got a little bit too excited. My apologies. Uh, we'll just go for a club here. There we go. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Do I want the bus? <laughs> I know some folks are not a fan of the bus. You know, we run into the face cards, we crash the bus. Um, I think, you know, as far as like plus molt scaling, I think this is scaling, you know, plus three per round is comparable or perhaps faster or perhaps safer than what we would be doing with the bus. So, you know, I don't need two of the same. I don't need two scalers. I think I already satisfied there. Um, Luchador could be useful. There are not there are not a ton of bosses that I'm concerned about right now. You know, maybe it's mostly the final bosses. You can use the Luchador on the final bosses. So I think we don't need that. Um, do I want to spend the money on a spectral pack? Jumbo spectral gives me four options, you know, better chances of getting the good stuff. I think the safe and then for, therefore correct thing to do is just keep holding our money for interest. And then we will be taking this clearance sale voucher um, later on, maybe in two rounds after we beat the big blind. Let's go next. So here I have an option, I can take a skip for a double tag. So I already have access to double tags for free just by, you know, playing the anaglyph deck. And so, you know, this kind of says if I skip here, then it adds an additional value to whatever future skip that I need. Um, and I think what I want to do is I want to keep scaling my egg and my swashbuckler. I want to keep uh, building up my money for interest. So I'm just going to play it out. All right, now what are we looking at? In order to hit 1,200, um, any hand that would be 400 points is then tripled to 1,200 points. So I'm not able to do that. What I need are two hands. So let's look for maybe uh, two flushes. Maybe we just get lucky and get the flushes. So one more of those. Um, spades, we got nine spades. We have potentially two pair here. Two pair with the plus eight. So, you know, maybe what is this? This is, uh, you know, 60 times 10 is 600. I think I can, it's definitely enough. Nice. Okay, uh, red card I don't need. Swashbuckler is already kind of taking care of that. Um, what I really need are more chips. How do I get more chips? If I don't get more chips, now I have, you know, to hit 1800 here, I have to play two hands still. I think I can. I think I can play two hands. So I think it is safe enough to go next and keep saving for interest. Hmm, maybe let's go for hearts. Um, I do have the inside straight draw with the jack, but I think it'll be easier for us to just get hearts, just play two flushes. Maybe. 
Let's try again on the hearts. Hmm. Awkward. So, if I play, you know, let's say these aces and nines here, that's going to be 600 points. And maybe I can play several of those, multiple two pairs. It's going to be tough, though. It's going to be tough. I'll admit that. Maybe I will throw the queen. We have a better chance of um, getting a full house. Maybe wouldn't matter that much, right? Because the difference between two pair and a full house is just two molt. Whereas like the swashbuckler gives us 11 either way. So let's try to play two pairs and maybe a triple could be good. Okay, sorry, I forgot. You know, before Swashbuckler gave us 600 for the two pair. Um, now with plus 11, we get a little bit more. So, okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. Um, here I have almost a straight, you know, maybe we're missing an eight or a three, or maybe we can go for a flush. I think if we hit the flush, the flush wins. So let's try to go for the flush. Okay, um, we do have two pair, two pair, this could be enough with the plus 11. Mm. If not, okay, here we go. Man, that was brutal. You know, really demonstrating the 14 molt is fine, but we really do need uh, some chips to go with it or maybe, you know, additional molt. All right, some options. Um, I really want some upgraded planet. So let me let me count my pennies here. Uh, let's see here, we've got, I really want the clearance sale. Though clearance sale reducing the value of stuff also reduces the value of egg and then reduces the power of the swashbuckler. I think I do want the trading card. I think even though it's eternal, even though I can't sell it, I think it's sufficiently powerful. It's good enough. And also having it will give me plus two molt on my swashbuckler. So I want the trading card. I also need chips. So I'm going to buy the mega celestial. It gives me a good chance of getting plus chips. Um, so I get to pick two. Um, the two pairs have been working out. Two pairs is not bad. So I think what I'll do is I'll go, I'm gonna pick up one Saturn and two copies of Uranus. And then with the Fool, make another Uranus. So, you know, there I'm choosing between, okay, do I wanna get two copies of Saturn or do I wanna get two copies of Uranus? I think, you know, on the high stakes with the, I say this every time, but with the minus one discard and the minus one hand size, straights are hard, straights are difficult. Um, and so rather than level up my straights, I'm gonna level up my two pair cause I can play two pair more consistently and just do that to be safe. All right, let's go next. All right, I get one discard here for my trading card what is the what's what, what's the plan with the trading card what, what are we trying to do here mm, i don't have a plan yet so maybe what i want to do let's get rid of a face card here there we go let's i want to go for i've got two sevens here i want to try to hit two pair so here, sixes and sevens, and then throw away a face card. All right, another one of those. Another set of two pair. So I wanna throw away the face cards, just get rid of them. I want to, maybe I don't need a four, maybe I don't need a five. I have more twos and threes left. I have nines left. Maybe I'll do something like this. That's fine. All right, uh, nines and threes, just like we drew it up.
What did we remove, by the way? We removed a king. Okay, good information. Hmm. All of this... I want overstock, but I can't necessarily afford it. These jokers don't help me. Um, what I really need is higher hand levels. So maybe I need this celestial pack. So let's give that a try. Hitting 3600 here is gonna be a little bit challenging, seems like. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the celestial pack. Mars is gonna be challenging. Uh, four of a kind is going to be challenging. Straights are challenging, but the reward is pretty big, right? The reward plus 30 chips. So rather than take the flushes, which are safer, I'm going to take the higher scoring Saturn. Because if we do hit the straight, then it will one shot. Or close enough. Alright, now, do I want to skip for an orbital tag? Orbital tag that's going to have these double tags. <laughs> if there were a thing to skip for i think orbital tag is a thing to skip for um of the possible hands that you can hit i think straight is not the safest one you know like you might not hit a straight but it is the strongest one um and because we have the double tags I said we're looking for a skip in either anti-3 or anti-4. This is it. This is this got to be it. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, all we got to do is hit a straight, any straight. What's it gonna be? Do we do the trading card? Do we get a little get a little spicy with the trading card? Um, I think the answer is yes. So let's do this. Um, I can go for you know a an eight and a nine with the inside straight draw. I'm gonna play the pair and save my discard. Okay, so we did get the straight. I'm gonna remove the face cards and then play the straight. Technically that cost me a dollar because I used you know I have I used one hand and I have a leftover discard. The reason why I did it that way was because I want to avoid the situation where I don't draw the straight. It's very possible we don't draw the straight and then we just die. We just lose, right? Um, and so it is safer to use the hands first and then Maybe I don't do the trading card. Trading card instead of discarding one, maybe I need to use a full discard in order to save myself. So just hedging there a little bit. Uh, banner I don't need anymore. Banner I don't need because now I've got the leveled up straights. Uh, what's the boss say? The boss says, gonna decrease the level. Well, if it's already level 12, I don't feel so bad about that. Now, if I want to, I can really save my money for interest or the overstock voucher is very powerful and so you know as much as i want to save my money for interest having the extra shop slot right now we're currently you know missing two jokers and i have two eternals i have the eternal uh swashbuckler that i can't get rid of i have the eternal trading card that i can't get rid of probably i'm keeping the egg and so i need specific jokers i need x mult jokers that are bangers is what i need in order to win in order to survive and so having the extra shop slot is it worth 10 bucks yes is this worth 20 20 dollars because i'm gonna lose that much interest over a couple rounds i think it's also worth that much i think overstock is worth 20 bucks to me hmm interesting interesting do we, should we pick up a trading card or a, a credit card here? I think the answer is yes. Uh, for one, it just gives me, you know, plus one value on my swashbuckler. We can always sell it later for a dollar. Yeah. Maybe we use it, maybe we don't use it. All right, so I've got, you know, I just need a 10 in order to complete the straight. So I'm going to do the same thing that we did last time where. I'm gonna play the hands first and then decide whether or not I need my discards. 
All right, so we're good there. What card do I want to remove? What I want to remove, I want to remove the big ones, right? I want to remove the high cards. That's not what we're looking at here. Do I remove a six? I think the answer is sure. All right, 17,000, 17,000 for that straight. Mm, Joker is that I don't really need. Celestial pack has a chance of upgrading my hand, though maybe with it at level 11, I don't need that many more. I think the main thing that I want is to save my money for X Molt Joker, save my money for shop rerolls. So let's go next. I don't need the scoring help from Todd. Celestial pack here, I could get two mega celestial packs. You know, very good chance of hitting what I need, but I already have enough value, you know, from the orbital tag, from the leveled up straights. Um, the double tags, they get better if you hold on to them longer. Or with the anaglyph deck, it gets better if you have four or five, or, you know, three or four even on the same skip. So I'm going to just keep holding, looking for now maybe an anti-6 skip. All right, what kind of straight can we make here? We can try to make uh, a low straight. Give that a try. All right, two, three, four, five. So we're close. Try again. All right, so we got the straight. Uh, I'm going to remove a 9. And then play the straight. And that will be enough to win the next round as well. Alright. Let's... Alright, here, here at Bellatro University, we say, always bet on banana. This will get us the X molt that we need. All we need to do is bust our banana. All right. I've got a full house here. Full house does nothing for me. All right. Let's. I have three queens and a bunch of tens. I think. I think we just play these out looking for maybe a low straight as possible here that's worth 5,000 points okay um eight or seven for a straight let's I'm gonna go ahead and remove the ace I'm going to go ahead and discard okay now a queen or an eight or a seven, eight and a seven actually we need. Uh, maybe do I wanna be going for, instead of the high straight, do I wanna be going for the low straight? Let's give that a try. All right, one more time looking for a straight. We do need to get a little bit lucky here. Uh, eight, seven, six, five, four, so you know, exactly that situation. Exactly that situation is why, you know, before with the trading card, instead of using it right away, I was playing hands instead of using my discards, you know, to save myself from the emergency situation where I might lose. You know, there's a good demonstration of, you know, why. But we, we survived. We made it. All right. Um, now, what do I want to do? I do want... You know, potentially, I'll pick up a gold card because it's gonna pay for itself right away. I think potentially I might wanna be continuing going for the Celestial Packs, but maybe with level 11 straight, I don't need to. To hit 20K, I think maybe that's two straights. Maybe if I get some enhanced cards from an Arcana Pack, let's go Arcana. Um, what I wanna hit, Temperance is the best. We would get a ton of money um, 
Hangman wouldn't be bad either. Ah, Judgment. Perfect. It doesn't even have to be a great Joker, just any Joker. <laughs> oh, okay. Extra five bucks every round, okay. So we've got all of this, because we took the orbital tag, because we have the high level straight, we could get by by just playing, you know, the leveled up straights. And look, we could use all of our Joker slots for money, maybe. Um, I think we still reroll here. Um, we have the overstock voucher, so we have we get better rerolls. We have a, three looks at stuff that I don't want. Let's go next. Spades are debuffed. That's not an issue. I do need two straights. I think that's the deal. I think we need two straights. I think maybe we don't get to do the trading card if we need two straights. We can find a 10. That's what we need to do. Probably we can find a 10. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I might need two hands here, so I'm just going to discard and not get the trading card value. Um, keep looking for that 10. Um, Uh-oh. I think if we get the 10, we still have it. Uh-oh. All right, we're sunk. <laughs> and that is, uh, you know, the issue with going for straights. All right, well, let's run it back. All right, one more time, trying the Anaglyph deck here. Uh, in the first round here, we can go for Rather than go for diamonds, you know, two of diamonds is not the kind of one shot flush. I'm gonna go for hearts. Okay. Um, I do have the opportunity to draw a nine, but I think I'm gonna go for hearts again. And now one more heart. Two hands is not a problem. That's perfectly fine. All right, seed money I can't afford. Misprint is perfect. We have some plus molt to get us started here. Mm, plus molt allows me to win with two pair if I want, or I can risk it and go for uh, a flush. Uh, let's just play the two pair. Mm, plus four doesn't do it. How rude. How about, I have a four, pair of fours. Let's go for two pair with fours. Fours and kings, all right. There's the plus 22, <laughs> you jerk. Um, could level up flushes. I think I'm going to take it while I can. You know, Celestial Packs are kind of hard to come by. Um, and so I'm going to level up my flushes. Get it while you can. Get the plus chips while you can. Uh, which means now here what I'm looking to do, you know, maybe go for clubs. Try again for clubs. Mm, three of a kind can work if we roll high on the misprint. Nice. All right, okay, so hear me out. <laughs> We're playing on the Anaglyph deck, the Anaglyph deck that rewards you for taking skips. That's what throwback does, right? You take a skip, it gets bigger. I said, you know, every time you skip, the way that you should think about it is it makes all of the scoring requirements 50% bigger. Every time you skip, it's 50% bigger. Throwback only gets 25% bigger, and so it's kind of a losing proposition. The way throwback works is if you would already skip, then it rewards you for skips that you've already done. It's retroactive. However, 
don't go crazy with the skips. If you skip too much, then that's going to cause you to lose. Card Sharp, on the other hand, you know, if the thing that we're doing is, you know, we got the leveled up flushes here, or even two pairs, not so bad. If you play two hands, the first hand is 1x, the second hand is 3x, and so two flushes, this scores as, you know, a times two joker on average. And then if you play a third hand, which is hard, but if you do play a third hand, that could be very powerful, very worth it. I think... I think short term, what we can do, short term we can rely on the card sharp. And then long term, I think throwback, even if you get up to X4, or sorry, X2, is worth it. See, to get X2, you need to take four skips. And four skips is ludicrous. You shouldn't be skipping that much, even on the anaglyph deck, even with the double tag. But we're gonna do it for science. And it's eternal, so we're stuck with it. All right. Uh, do I want to skip here for five bucks? Not this time. Um, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to make two flushes. So maybe like this. Um, this is a straight. Maybe I can make two straights. Okay, dang. Oh well. Um, so anything? Here, ship it. <laughs> Get out of here. Hmm. Um, these are not really what I'm looking for necessarily. Though, I guess short term, if I pay two bucks for plus four mult and I sell it for one dollar later, um, I think Joker is fine. Uh, Jimbo, by the way. Uh, do I want to skip for this will give me after I beat the boss it'll give me $30 huh so you know normally I would say sure why not though maybe with this particular boss with these jokers that I have playing two hands against the hook is hard <laughs> it's already hard to play two hands playing two hands with the uh, random discards is going to make it hard to get card sharp action so i think to be safe we need the shop we need the shop to really deliver it for us mm, what can i play um a flush two flushes would be ideal so here's the spades You know what's going to happen? This is going to be an extra long episode. We're going to lose three or four times. <laughs> um, I'm out of hands. So if I want to go for another flush, not that I need, it doesn't need to be a flush. It could be any hand. Um, two pair would work. So maybe what we'll do is we'll discard or we'll play these looking for um, a second pair. I guess there, since we rolled high, we got the plus 20 on the misprint, then we get, would have won it with a pair. Now we definitely win with a pair. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Is it too late for the bus? I think it's too late for the bus. You know, because we could do the thing. We could do the thing. We could do the bus with a card sharp and then go for the high card again. Mm. Do I want to go three of a kind? Three of a kind's tough. I think we don't. I think we don't take the bus. I think I want to try to make flushes work. Either that or, you know, even if I don't take the bus here, I can get some other better plus mult, you know, already misprint is doing fine. So let's just save our money. Or do we want to take the spectral pack here? I really should be saving my money, especially if we're going to be skipping. So, hmm, hmm. Let's take the spectral pack. That's where the fun is, right? 
Yeah. Ooh, random rare for two bucks. Yeah. Oh, it's a baseball card. We get the X Molt. Um. All right. That's it. We've done it. <laughs> this is a W. He's calling it now. It's a W. There's the flush. Ah, oh, plus one on the misprint, you jerk. <laughs> uh, you know, as far as like hitting uh, 3,600 for the next round, I feel confident we can do that. Um, I feel confident that straight flushes is not what we're going for. Um, do I want to upgrade pairs? I could go for pairs instead of flushes. That would be a little bit easier to get this card sharp action. I think we just keep saving our money. Do I want to take the negative skip? So, you know, the issue there being you have to pay for the negatives. And so if I take the skip and I get the negative jokers in the shop, uh, I don't necessarily have the money to pay for them. So maybe, you know, I could sell the misprint. I could sell Jimbo here. I get uh, the $4 here. Hmm. I am tempted. Or is it safer to do the buffoon skip, the mega buffoon? I think we skip for the negatives. I think, you know, if there's like three negatives, I'm not gonna buy all three. Maybe I just buy one or two, but I get some options. Let's do it. All right. So, sorry, what's the boss here? All right, what can I do? What can I do? I'm going for, I'm trying to get as much money as I can so that I can afford these negatives. Um, the way that I do that is by playing as few hands as possible, which is what we're always trying to do. And so the way that we do that is with a flush. How do we get a flush? Maybe clubs? Let's give that a try. Maybe not clubs, maybe we'll go for hearts instead. Mmm, close. Mmm, this feels bad. <laughs> okay, try again. High card is higher because the card sharp. Okay, I guess high card just wins from here, though it's kind of sad. Yikes, that's a yikes. <laughs> Ah, uh, do we go square? I think we do go square. I think we go square with the high card. That's the move. I mean, that's a move. Lose a dollar for every card played. Ah, you jerk. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go for the flush again. The flush is plan A, high card is plan B. Do I wanna play pairs? No, I think not. I think we'll play the high card. Do I wanna play four cards to level up the square joker? It costs me more money. Um, no, I think what we'll do is, we'll just play the high card. Yep. All right, that was as efficient as possible. Two more negatives that we can't afford, but this is okay, this is fine. Do I want the blackboard? I think we don't have blackboard technology right now. Parking I'm into, having some money generator I'm into. So maybe sell the misprint now. This is uncommon. So we do get the uh, X Molt from the baseball card. Would have loved to have the blackboard, but this is completely fine. All right, do I wanna skip for Mega Arcana? I can have double Mega Arcana. I think we, 10K might be hard for us to, this 10K here, play only one hand seems kinda of tough. All right, let's look for our face cards. That's the move, that's what we're doing.
Um, here's some face cards. Let's go play four, level up the square. And level up again. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, all right, any hand will work. So I'll play four for the square. Okay, I mean, for now, for now we're fine. Though, like I said, the boss is concerning me. Um, Hangman is usually something that I'm into. Uh, I think we need to save our money and I think we need to roll a Joker in the next shop. 15K I can hit. All right, let's find our face cards. Well, those are face cards. Now the question is, do I go for the parking money or do I go for the square upgrade? You know, cause the square upgrade that's gonna make it easier to one shot the boss. I think I'd rather have the money. So let's do this. And again. And probably two more of those. Or not. A little bit of interest too. Okay. Okay. Maybe some extra chips. Definitely is not bad. Okay. Um. Ooh, I think we need to replace, um, I think we need to replace Jimbo. I think we need to roll an uncommon here or else we lose. Um, does Pluto help us? Let's say we buy Pluto and we do the reroll and that's uh, $8. Taking us down to six, we could go to seven. That's enough to buy some uncommons, but not necessarily all uncommons. Is the move we play high card? Is that what we're trying to do? Or maybe we need to go for the flush versus this boss. I think we're just going to reroll here. Uh, oh, Jupiter helps. Maybe. I'm going to take the fool. And I think we don't take the hangman because we're short on funds. Nah, it's too good not to. Hmm. 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 I think we just save our money. Go next. We only get one hand. We only get one chance at this. So it needs to be a flush, which is perfectly possible. All we gotta do is hit a club. <laughs> That's all we gotta do. All we gotta do is hit a club. Uh, we could be greedy and try to go for, uh, you know, this faceless joker money. I don't think that's, uh, safe to do. All we gotta do is hit a club. Yes. Uh, just to play it safe, I am gonna use the Jupiter card. And then I'm gonna play the flush here. Woo. Alright. Now we're good. Do I want vampire? <laughs> um, yeah. All right, get welcome to the team. <laughs> all right. Um, now we've got some technology. All right. All right. All right. I forgive you. I forgive you for not giving me the straight in the first run. I forgive you. All right. Uh, garbage tag. I want this handy tag. Handy tag with all of these double tags. That's what I want. So let's go next. Uh, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to go square. I'm trying to go parking. Let's discard. Looking for face cards. And then get our square value on. 
and high card is good. Oh yeah. Hey, we're not out of the woods yet. This is the type of thing that I might want. You know, I've got all of this uh, times molt here. I need some base plus molt. Uh, I do have plus 10 from the holographic, which is not terrible. That is helping. Do I want the extra hand size? Extra hand size is going to make it easier to, you know, do this parking stuff. Um, I think we do take the hand size. Uh, going down to zero dollars here is fine because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the handy skip. All right, now we're good. 50k. How do we hit 50k? Um, if we hit two flushes, that'll work. So let's look for another flush, or sorry, another diamond. Ooh, we can even, we could play this flush and still get a little bit of parking money. All right, all I need is one more of those. All right, these are face down. I can go ahead and discard them if I want. All right, um, I've got some spades. Question, do I need the flush or will high card be fine? I think high card will be fine. So actually what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna go for three high cards. You know, get a little bit more square. All right, um, I do need high card. So I'm gonna play these four. Um, if it's a pair, that's bad, right? So to avoid a pair, maybe do something like this. All right, there we go. All right, now we're flush with cash. Blank voucher, sure, why not? I'm looking for ways to enhance the vampire. Um, two pair is not bad. You know, if I want to try to do the square thing. Um, I think, you know, with the plus one hand size with the, uh, the paintbrush, I think long term, I think flushes are going to be perfectly fine for us. And so let's go Arcana first. Um, Hierophant is great as far as, you know, doing vampire stuff. So maybe Hierophant on two sevens or Emperor could give me a suit changer. Suit changer, uh, there's a pretty good chance of that because there's four of those. Um, I think we take the Emperor. Yeah. Nice, we got the sun. Also judgment if I want it. You know, maybe if I want to get rid of this faceless joker. Okay, cool. Uh, standard pack, since I got the sun here, I will accept any heart and then maybe build flushes that way. So here's an enhanced heart, fine. And since I have the money, let's look for an uncommon joker. Or maybe this rare campfire. <laughs> hey, that's a that's a sticker, right? We need that one. Let's go check it out. Campfire. Um. Oh, we already got the campfire. Hmm. Well, you know, if you just want like an easy W, if you want the win, I think campfire is the technology that makes that happen. Um, I'm not going to take that because. We already got the sticker, and I'm gonna to try to go for an uncommon instead. What other, we just have the two vouchers. Um, I'm gonna reroll one more time, looking for an uncommon. Okay, if not, that's fine. We can go next. We can keep saving our money, spreading out the rerolls so that you have, um, you know, don't spend too much rerolls in one shop because they keep increasing in price. Do I wanna skip for a polychrome? If I do the double skip, there will be two polychromes. Maybe I don't buy both, but maybe that gives me a better chance of one that I will buy. 
I think... I think we don't skip. I think we hold on this. Alright, um... I have the sun, which can help me make flushes. I think let's do that. Let's look for hearts. Actually, let's do this first. Let's look for spades, because I think that's a flush that I can complete very easily. And then as our second flush for the card sharp, we'll use the hearts. All right, so here's one flush, no problem. And play a second one. Um, what is the flavor flush that we want to play? It doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna go for the low, the non-face cards, you know, because there's the, there's the bosses that debuff your face cards, or the boss here that debuffs your hearts. Uh, that's completely fine. Let's... Before I use the sun, um, I do want to try to find that other, the two, right? So let's discard here. Okay, that's fine. And then, do I want to use the sun now? If I don't use the sun, then, you know, I can't get a second sun. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it. And then play a flush. All right, we've got quite the lineup, quite the lineup of jokers here. Um, let's take a jumbo buffoon pack looking for an uncommon. Mm, this was not the uncommon that I had in mind, but it is technically an uncommon. So we'll get rid of the faceless joker, pick up the idol. We do get a times two on seven of clubs, I guess. Standard pack, maybe looking for any hearts. I should have used the judgment, I forgot. Mm, is it worth it, the enhanced card, the glass card, to power up our vampire? But then, you know, adding club to our deck could make it harder for us to find our flushes. Also, it's not a face card. You know, we have the reserve parking, technically. I think we pass and re-roll one time. I'd like to get a better uncommon. Mime with the held in hand abilities. I mean, that's better than the idol, though a little bit awkward with the vampire because, you know, we can't get steel cards. Or, I mean, we can. It's just a little bit harder. I will take the justice to guarantee upgrade on the vampire. I keep forgetting to use the judgment. My bad. Do I want to take a double mega standard pack? I think the answer is no on that. All right, let's look for hearts. Continue looking for hearts. Um, didn't get there on the hearts, but what I can do is I can go, you know, turn this jack into glass, play high card for what it's worth. Play the flush. Maybe, let's see here. High card is worth 9,000. Um, now tripled because of the card sharp. So if I just play high card two more times, you know, they're worth uh, 27,000 each. Maybe I play three more times. Or do we play the flush? I mean, the flush is worth a lot. We have enough money now where we can start to do things like, you know, level up the square. Yeah, I am gonna go for the high card. If high card is gonna win, then it doesn't cost me because I'll get extra money from the reserved parking. So let's do that. Let's level up the square, take this opportunity. Oh, this is a combo. Mine with reserve parking. I keep forgetting the parking. Actually, you know what, team? <laughs> We're cooking. <laughs> uh, do I want the extra money or do I want the extra level on my square? 
I'm good on money. Let's go level up the square. Forget flushes. Let's just play high card. Right? That's the move. Hmm. DNA. Hey, we actually we actually got the sticker on the DNA the other time. Um where is it? E you know, there it is. Okay. Um Mime is actually fine, it turns out. Mime is fine with the parking here. Maybe what I'm looking for is a steel card. Um Maybe do I need what do I need? I want tarot cards, is what I need. Tarot cards for enhancements. Do I go Jumbo Celestial, potentially looking for, you know, leveling up my flushes? So like, you know, short term, short term I can survive with high card. Long term, I want something that's a little bit more potent. So like long term we'll go flushes, short term we'll go high card, getting the money and then also getting the square level up. Let's go Jumbo, looking for Jupiter. Um, if we don't get Jupiter, what is the backup plan? The backup plan may be... All of these are going to be tough, especially if we're you know adding cards to our deck to get the Vampire online. I think what I want to do is I'll take two pair. And I will... I'm kind of, I'm happy with the jokers that I have. I'm just going to reroll looking for tarot cards mostly. All right, save our money. Go next. So we can get there playing high card four times. That is a legal maneuver. So maybe we just do that. Maybe this queen doesn't do anything. So maybe we discard first, like this. All right. High card once. And ace, seven, three, two, again. Um, let's actually, since this is debuffed, I'm going to discard the jack. Ooh, ah, that's a little bit awkward. Um, let's play one of these queens. And one more. All right, next round is 90K. 90K I can hit, no problem. <laughs> what are these jokers? What, we got antimatter for a free brainstorm. We can sneak it in here, brainstorm. We can copy the baseball card here and get all of our uncommon X molt here. My goodness. Don't mind if I did you. I, I keep forgetting with the, 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 the judgment. The judgment's gonna be with us till till the very end. I'm taking it to my grave. Go next. All right. Uh, do I take a skip here? Do I take the negative tag? If we take the negative tag for sure. That's gonna be more gold stickers. Um, do I take the skip here in order to get this negative tag here? I think the answer is yes. I know I said I know I said the way that you lose on the anaglyph deck is you skip too much, and I said you know skipping you know even three or four times is kind of too much already. But I mean, when you roll this hot on the jokers, never punished. <laughs> no, I didn't take the skip. I was supposed to push the button and get all the negatives. Now I'm sad. Now I'm sad, and then you in the comments, you're gonna be mad. That's okay. <laughs> Everyone's gonna skip this part anyway. Everyone's just gonna skip to the end. <laughs> no one's gonna see that. All right, uh, let's go. I wanna discard first. I wanna try to get my parking money. All right, let's try again, get the parking money. 
All right, let's get our parking validated. I've committed, I've committed a, a sin. I've, I took the double skip, which was bad, and I didn't get the negative skip, which was the thing that was, the, that was the whole point. <laughs> um, now what? Now I, I don't know what to do with my life. I'm just sad. Is what? That's where I'm at. Standard pack. Why not? Um, wild card for my vampire. Sure. <laughs> I mean, you know, the technology we got is so powerful, it doesn't really matter what we do. Um, no, no, I refuse. Hearts only. Flushes only. We've done high card enough times. Alright, um, go next. Face cards are drawn face down. That's fine. I don't need to know what they are, I just need to know that they're there. All right, let's play, I guess, one face card and get the square. Again. Maybe instead of copying the baseball card, I should be copying the parking. I get more money that way. Man, we're all over the place. We're too powerful. <laughs> uh, discard, I guess. Why not? Arcana pack, why not? Temperance for 30 bucks. Man, if we had all those negatives, imagine what we could have done. Yeah, let's take the temperance. Let's take a uh, celestial pack just to see. Uh, high card Pluto. Sure, why not? We've got money. We might as well reroll. Do we want the rocket? Extra... Uncommon. Nah. Matador? Nah. <laughs> Is it time to go banana? I know I say always bet on banana, but I mean it's anti eight. Sorry. Sorry, this is a betrayal. This you'll forgive me. <laughs> you'll forgive me for not taking the negative skip. All right, uh, let's. Do I want a mega celestial skip? I think now. Okay, to hit one million. Okay, this is gonna be the true test. Can we hit one million with this pile here? Probably. All right, mega celestial time. Let's go Pluto and Jupiter. So whichever one is big, just keep making it bigger. Let's go Jupiter again. Um, maybe not unreasonable three of a kind. We've got Pluto again and maybe not unreasonable two pair. Um, this stuff I really don't want. And the last one. All right, two pair again. What else? Maybe instead of flushes, we go straights. All right, let's play it out. All right, give me my parking money. Give me my re-rolling money. All right. If I want to play high card, I can play high card. Or if I want to get more money from my parking, which is probably what I should be doing, then maybe what we do is put the parking over here and do this. Maybe put the baseball card over here. <laughs> uh, yep. Ah, perfect, perfect. Um, yeah, let's run it back. More parking money. All 
All right, now if you want to see the big score, the way that we do it is we put a baseball card over here, get the copy with the brainstorm. Um, let's play high card one time. Maybe let's still do this. Still copy the parking. All right, now copy the baseball card. Ship it. Apparently we can hit a million. <laughs> Apparently. Okay, uh, level up flushes, why not? Let's go Jumbo Arcana. Could level up flushes again. I could go for some more planet cards. Now nah, let's just go do the fool. That's me. This time I'm the fool. All right. The trio. Have we hit the trio before? Let me check the collection here. Trio we've done. Duo we haven't done. All right. Um. Judgment is out. I think Emperor is in. Okay, Empress, we can level up the vampire. Not that we need to. Uh, Sun, we can make flushes if we want to. Again, not that we need to. Let's reroll one more time. Uh, I'll open the Celestial Pack now. High card, I guess. What else? I'm looking for an uncommon. <laughs> Mmm, banana. I mean, it's not ludicrous to pick up the banana. Oh well. Uh, one more time for an uncommon? Okay, uh, Hierophant I'll take. Hierophant for my leveled up vampire. Alright, Violet Vessel. What's it gonna be? Are we gonna go for the flushes? Or are we going to cop out and play high card instead? Um, Flush got the bigger number. Let's go for the bigger number. So if I want to go for, let's say, hearts. Let's do something like this. Looking for hearts. Or maybe something like this. Ship it. Uh, okay, we got the spades, so let's go upgrade, upgrade again, ah, beans, <laughs> I guess we're just too powerful, I don't get to play a second hand, that's rude, okay, well, that's Anaglyph deck in a nutshell. It's very medium until it's very spicy. You get the one skip, the one good skip, and you can do a lot. Um, you know, maybe you're looking for buffoon skips so you can get a lot of rerolls, a lot of chances at good jokers. Um, orbital tag, we claim orbital tag is strong. It's worth it, though in the first run that we did, we weren't able to draw the straight, and you know that's one of the risks that you take on the higher stakes. Um, the negative tag skip is probably the spiciest one, kind of the most interesting one, allowing you to just really break the game in terms of like having a ton of extra negatives. You know, so any one random, you know, common negative is not going to help you very much typically, but. If you get multiple negative tags, you have more choices, and maybe you just need one out of the four choices, or maybe uh, you just take all of them. And even if only, even if each one only helps you a little bit, having enough little gains is worth it. Anyway, take care, everyone.